we can keep going now. So Mom Von Kraft has just slid down the banister. Generally, said Papa, we refrain from making much noise for about two more hours until we are certain the entire Palmer household is sound asleep. You see how proper Papa Von Kraft sounds? Oh, they won't hear us, said Mom, and if they do, we'll just hide. Annabelle saw her parents cringe. Mom and Dad Funcraft gazed around the doll's parlor. Your furniture is so, Mom started to say, so old, Tiffany finished for her. Mom, the dolls are more than 100 years old, right, Annabelle? Yes, said Annabelle. Don't you have anything plastic, asked Tiffany. Annabelle had never thought about this, but she replied quickly, of course we do, Mama. Oh, of course we do. Mama, where's the lamp Kate's mother bought for us when she was little? The lava lamp? Mama replied. Oh, that's not here anymore. Mrs. Palmer took it out later. It didn't go with the decor. It means it didn't look good in the house. You could look up a picture of a lava lamp or ask your mom and dad about that. It would not go in a house that looked 100 years old. I think a lava lamp looks nice anywhere, said Tiffany. The Funcrafts explored the rest of the house. They tested the keys on the piano. They remarked upon the 1933 edition of National Geographic that lay on the table in the parlor. National Geographic is a magazine. Bailey tried the rocking horse in the nursery and then leapt from it onto Bobby's bed while Mom and Dad looked on, smiling. Annabelle was amazed. Do you think Mom and, uh, Mom and Papa would let Annabelle and Bobby jump onto a bed from... Mm -mm because remember, they're, they're really proper. Finally, everyone gathered in the kitchen where the fun crafts had no end of questions. Tiffany was proud to be able to identify the potato masher, the orange squeezer, and the whisk for her parents. Interesting, said Mom. Where are your barbecue things? asked Dad. Barbecue? repeated Nanny. She turned to Mama and Papa, and they shrugged. I'm, I guess we don't have any barbecue things. What's a barbecue? Annabelle asked Tiffany. It's a grill, a gas grill. You turn it on, added Mom, and it cooks food quickly with the great taste of the outdoors. Of course, ours doesn't really work, but we have fun pretending. A barbecue, said Tiffany, is also a party like a picnic at which you serve the barbecued food. Picnic, said Annabelle. We don't know what that is either. You're kidding. Our dream house came with a picnic basket. It's one of the basic items. But if you want picnic foods for the basket, you have to order them separately, said Dad. My goodness, was all Mama Doll could say. Mom Funcraft whispered something to Dad Funcraft, and then to Bailey and Tiffany, who grinned. Then she said to the dolls, Would you like to come over to our house for a barbecue one night? We could have a get-to-know-you party. Annabelle looked hopefully at Mama, who was looking at Papa. She knew her mother was having second thoughts about visiting the fun crafts, now that she had met them. Well, said Mama finally, all right, because Mama doesn't, she's not sure that she likes the fun crafts because they're kind of wild and outgoing. They don't really understand what it means to be a doll. It seems like they don't know what doll state is. Yes, thought Annabelle. How about tomorrow night? Tomorrow night? Oh, I don't think. Please come, said Mom. We'll have a wonderful party. Don't you want to see our house, Mrs. Doll? We have a computer and a VCR, added Dad. Also a patio, said Bailey. That's where we'll have the barbecue. Well, said Mama helplessly. Oh, please, Mama, said Annabelle. We, we made them the you-know-what, please. Um, very well, Mama said to Mom Funcraft. Thank you. Fantastic, exclaimed Mom. We'll see you tomorrow night. The fun crafts turned to leave. See you, Tiffany called as she and her family slid down the steps of the stool. Bye, replied Annabelle. She looked at her parents. They were staring at each other in disbelief. Like, who were those people? To think, said Danny, that they've gone all these years, oh, that we've gone all these years without a single neighbor. And then we end up with such unusual ones. I suppose we must give them a chance, said Mama cautiously. But they're so raucous, said Papa. What do you think raucous means? From how they acted, what do you think? Did you say kind of wild? You were right. Still, they are our neighbors, said Mama. True, said Uncle Doll. And we must be neighborly. They don't seem like bad people, added Nanny. No, agreed Papa, just different. 
There's nothing wrong with being different, said Mama. I like them, declared Annabelle. I can't wait for tomorrow night. And that is the end of chapter five. And I hope you like it. Here's a picture of the Fun Crafts house. Look at how crazy and wild it is compared to the doll's house. There you go. So I hope you like chapter five and I'll see you later. Bye.